let's just give him another meal, have fun, enjoy. Isn't able to be measured in numbers yet. <laughs> oh god. I mean, I, I would be pros positively responding to a million dollars, you know. Um, not able to be measured in numbers yet, or ever, but you know. <laughs>Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on the Transport Fever 2 campaign with me, Spacefish, and welcome back to beautiful Germany in 1990. So, one year already has passed since German reunification then and we are still on the job to join up the two parts of the country logistically and uh, well to modernize the overall uh, train line system in Germany now as you can see we are still working on the mission we left off with end of last episode which is to get eight intercity express trains into operation and have a total distance driven of 50,000 meters which means now we do actually need to expand on our operations even a bit more because uh, well previously we didn't even have enough train lines to keep that many trains running simultaneously so uh, we'll probably be looking at building some more railways today getting the trains out on the road getting the distance covered and then moving on to the next task ahead but just quickly before we get started on that topic then if you're new around here and if you happen to enjoy this episode, please make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. We're trying to hit 1k subs by the end of the year and, uh, well, it's still a far away away and every single one would help out a ton. So thank you very much if you are going to be doing that. But with that out of the way then, let's quickly, first things first, actually look back at managing vehicles here. And we can just quickly check out on which lines we already have two trains running. You can see right here, Frankfurt to Würzburg, we have got two train, uh, well, two uh, ICs on that line. There should also then be, no, I guess, oh, okay, so this is what we need to take care of, basically. We've got Frankfurt to Würzburg, we've got two trains running on it, but it's all the way between Frankfurt and Würzburg, basically. So what we need to do is we need to split that line, we need to have one from Frankfurt to Würzburg, which is going to be two trains, and then another one from Würzburg to Nuremberg, which is going to be the other two trains, and then we've got that task out of the way. Now, just quickly checking this out, first things first, you can see we've got two train lines already going right here. We have even already built these, so quite frankly, it should be quite easy in my opinion then. Uh, we're just going to first things first remove Nuremberg from this list. We're going to go and make a new line from here. From here? Uh, well, from here, I suppose, to right there. I'm, I'm really not allowed to click things today, aren't I? Hello? Yes, thank you very much. So, that is going to be our new line, and it's of course going to be uh, Würzburg to Nuremberg. Um, I, guess, I guess that suffices, or that is sufficient. We will be then quickly actually losing time uh, play, just to... Well, I guess we're going to have to turn that train around, because he's now confused of where he has to go. And once that train is kind of off this line, we're going to go build a new train depot. And uh, hopefully these are not on the same, well, I guess there's tracks where they can evade each other. And uh, we will then go and get this train depot on the map right here. We're going to go and get some tracks going to get this thing connected up nicely for us. Uh, given that these trains are seeming to stop at this train terminal, I suppose we're going to try the other train track right here we're maybe actually gonna have to align the train terminals between the two lines which we should actually be able to do in here too you can see right here yeah train terminal one is Frankfurt Würzburg and train terminal two is Würzburg Nuremberg so that's the right train track to attach this one to and we are going to go and buy another two ICEs not like this though because we do of course have to make them separate so to like that you can see we're actually getting quite low in terms of money we are mind you though getting like a hundred mil every was it every month or every year i'm not quite sure but we're getting a lot of money basically to uh, keep this expansion fueled so hopefully we should be doing somewhat fine in this regard let's get these on the road though we're going to go and get things set to triple speeds because, of course, we need to also drive the distance now. That is still on the task. You can see the intercity trains in operation. 
task is nicely already hit right there. So, that is that. The other train is going to be waiting for the time being, I suppose. We can... Did you just see that? It just jumped the freaking train signal. I feel kind of slightly trolled. Now we're in a situation where this thing is in the way. Go and turn the freaking heck around. Oh my, no. Did you just see that? He was like right there and he just jumped the freaking signal. What do we do now? I suppose we can use this as an evasive track right here. So, uh, well... Why can I not collect that now? I, I would not be able to tell you, but we're gonna the ICE is as fast as an arrow. do that. The shackles of bureaucracy slow down operation. That's why and Germany's that doesn't work. Parliament has decided to convert the German Federal Railway into a private corporation, now called Deutsche Bahn. Beautiful. This enables flexible, customer-aligned activity on the market. You That's quite a good joke. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, quite honestly, I, I think any German will tell you that the um, flexible customer-aligned activity on the market on the is quite a good jo uh, joke in the case of the German market. But yeah. Um, That's the motto. Show corporate key figures that live up to this motto. But yeah. Okay, so reduce the size of regional trains and everything. But what we want to kind of fix the first things first here is this IC situation, because this is absolutely atrocious. I don't know why the train decided to jump the line, but I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to literally do that. So we're going to get a new one. I'm, yeah, I don't know. It's it's annoying, but what do we do? We're going to fix things like that. And, uh, hello? Could you get going, mate? Dude, what is your issue now? Oh, your issue is that the time's boss. <laughs> I'm not sure if that evasive route would have even worked, to be honest. Maybe the time was paused all along and you guys were just screaming at me. I don't even know what that was. But anyway, so that's fixed. Now we want to uh, reduce the size of regional trains. Remove meters of platform. Oh, train stations, not trains. Okay, so I guess we're going to do that. It's not like these are really all too big, so that's kind of weird. Maybe we're just going to do it in cities that we don't have connected yet anyways, I suppose. And whatever financial benefit downsizing a train station is supposed to bring. What in the world is your issue, game? I cannot even edit these. How am I supposed to remove platform and trek and train stations when I can't even edit the platforms? Can anyone tell me? I'm, I'm kind of confused about this one now. Like, maybe that one? Oh, this one. I'm so Okay. Um, weird. Anyways, I'll just be removing this and probably placing it back down when we need it. But, um... Oh, right, that's not the platform, that's the platform. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, very weird, but that's, you know, part of the thing done. Uh, also, a little side task right here. At the last meeting, Mr. Bloomer from the Finance Department introduced several persuasive ideas for increasing growth rates. The proposed measures for restructuring are supposed to be implemented in different areas. Staff salaries are the number one cost driver. Fair. Longer trains ensure greater capacity while deploying personnel resources sparingly. Okay. Only use the Intercity Express as a double train. Well, I mean, that's going to be... You know, why not just pay 70 million for a new Intercity Express in order to save a few bucks of money? I've just seen the biggest spider in the world at the top of my room, and it's absolutely... Oh, God. Holy moly. I, 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 uh, yeah. It's like a half-grown tarantula, like, right there. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, so sorry for being sidetracked. That is an absolutely terrifying sight right there. Um, we will go and find ourselves for now another train station to go down on, I suppose. Maybe this one right here will work. Looks like it. So, we're gonna go and, you know, just randomly delete parts of it, because... The game wants us to, and that doesn't make any financial sense, you know, 
whatever. Uh, meters of platform. We want it to remove... I have an idea. Do we want to try if this works? Surely it does, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, it adds it to that again. Unfortunately, that would have been very nice and easy, wouldn't it? Um, trying to outsmart the game as usual, I suppose. Uh, let's go to Fuller then. We haven't connected that yet. And um, figure that. And we're just going to remove some more platform meters right here. So boom, 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 boom. Ah, this is so, so useful, isn't it? Now we 20 meters. Are you for real? Can we configure this smaller one, maybe? No? Okay. Too small. Uh, what else do we have? I guess we're going to just change one more time a tad bit. It's fine. No, never mind. Ah, uh, which one can we change that we haven't changed yet? I guess all. We're going to go do this city. Boom. Boom. Done. Beautiful. Is to increase productivity while reducing costs at the same time. The biggest deficits are incurred in local mass transit. This calls for some measures to optimize infrastructure. Okay. Regional turnover of 50 million. Um, we'll see on that one, I suppose. For the time being, let's go and cut back on the staff and get that side mission out of the way too. So we're going to go and have to manage all these lines. And well, we're basically, unfortunately, going to have to just sell the vehicles and then edit these vehicles so it's like it doesn't make any sense financially I guess in the real world that would be a bit different in terms of how it works but well we gotta do it this way here I suppose and let me tell you in the real world I have never seen two ICTs uh, attached to one another maybe unless they kind of split them to go to different locations but that's beside the point I suppose so uh, we're gonna do the same thing across all uh, train lines we're gonna go and remove that one and we're gonna and one right here and then we have this one right here where we sell this one and then we add a train right there and it is well absolutely not financially sensible but it, it worked we've got it done and now there's manager salaries i suppose financial incentives to the benefit of top executives are conducive to their cost awareness this investment in cable management staff is going to pay off in the long wait oh not decrease increase have fun, get a meal, you know. I'll take some of it for myself. We're all happy. <laughs> okay. To dismantle the relevant facilities and sell them off to third parties at a profit. Reduce the number of roofs and outbuildings at the train. Are you for real? Honestly. That is just like so. Like I at first things first. I just removed all the roofs when doing the last thing. Secondly. What, are the people just supposed to be standing in the rain or what? Flipping roofs. That is absolutely... Okay. Uh, turnover target. I guess we're going to do in a second. Let's do the roofs first because, you know, who doesn't love making people stand in the rain, right? You know, you've got to, got to adapt that little bit of... Uh, um, I don't know what the English word is. But um, joyfulness about the pain of others. When you work in the public transport industry, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do we say? We're going to go and configure that. And we're going to go and remove some more roofs. And, well, actually, we're supposed to remove outbuildings, too. So, you know, let's do that, you know. I don't know what sort of money we're supposed to gain. I, I guess, technically, it's, like, less... I don't know. Maintenance cost. But, still sucks. These things were way more beautiful before. I'm really not looking forward to this, but we're going to go and remove another two outbuildings. Or just the main building, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, let's let's re add that. <laughs> there we go. Experience accumulated so cool. far on the matter of manager salaries indicates a sizable return on investment regarding the special bonus <laughs> that took place. This successful strategy <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one. You know, if I was a manager, was getting a bonus of one million, I, I would probably make uh, make sure that that seems like the most financially beneficial to the company that that it could ever be. You know, um, and uh, that way, you know, not nicely get another bonus. I mean, who knows? You know, I'm not saying that incentives overall are, aren't working. I'm sure in some certain cases it would be, but there's certainly a bit of. Uh, 
you know, a benefit for the managers in uh, that who probably calculate the financial benefit of sand bonuses themselves. But, you know, have another million, my friends. Analysis Enjoy. Tracks. There you go. Ah, beautiful. For so you're going to give them a million and then you're going to take the travel... Well, I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's just buy it. Okay, establish an airline for the management. That That is just... <laughs> It's just a parody at this point, isn't it? It's like, let's reduce the travel costs of the management. We're going to do that by uh, having a private airline going from them from Frankfurt to Stuttgart. Instead of having them go by train and just, you know, join virtual, I guess, virtual meetings in 1990. But honestly, <laughs> is that really reducing travel expenses? I'm not too sure about that one. We're going to establish an airline regardless, I suppose. And, uh... Just gonna stay a bit more critical about that approach, but uh, we we all know the game likes to um, troll a bit in some of these contexts, I suppose. So, um, well, plane thingy right there, uh, airport. That's that's the name of that usually. Uh, we're gonna actually uh, let's go and make a big passenger airfield out in Frankfurt because we all know that's one of the main airport hubs in Germany, right? Or am I the only one that knows? I don't know. Um, in, in the process, I guess, carve out a huge canyon instead of having it on a proper level? What is this? That, that, that's certainly not the way that we're going to do that. Um, how did I raise things again? Ah, like this. Whee! That is going to be an airport built on a mountain and a half, I suppose. There we go. That's attached. Boom. 25 million and, uh, and an entire ramp to throw the airplanes off of. Okay, cool. So, we will go and connect these two. One, and uh, two. And we will call that um, Manager Private Joyride 1. Cool. And <laughs> then we will go into here, buy vehicles, and, uh, you know, we'll just make sure to buy Boeing 757 because we've got that many managers. Probably going to be, like, ever two people sitting in there, chilling, enjoying themselves. But, you know, management... Management just needs another level of comfort sometimes. <laughs> ah, okay. There we go. That's that's that thing taken care of. And now we've got a beautiful Boeing 757, which I'm not even sure can land on the other airport, to be honest, given its size. So we'll see about that one. But there that goes. And, uh, you know, surveys taken at the management level conclude that the performance capability... <laughs> surveys take... <laughs> the game's just literally put taking the piss right now, isn't it? I mean... Wow. Okay. Um, in light of the anticipated... Well, you know. Let's just get on another meal. Have fun. Enjoy. Isn't able to be measured in numbers yet. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I, I would be pros positively responding to a million dollars, you know. Um, not able to be measured in numbers yet. Or ever. But, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got the turnover here going. And I, I guess we sort of have to see where it's going to be. Is that just... Well, an annual turnover, I suppose, is going to be quite the long-term effort. I, I'm not sure quite where we need to be heading with this. Also, given that we just went private, are we actually even still getting money? Like, are we getting 100 million from, from the state still? Or do we need to self-sustain? Or how does that work? Also, the 757. I'm quite sure, uh, as you can see down there, it's too big for this. Oh, sorry, right. Honestly, we're not even going to have any airplanes run down there because... This would be absolutely crazy and profitable. I'm not sure that we actually still get 100 million like a month or a year or something pumped uh, into the bank by the government all the time. So we're going to stick to this. And well, I don't know. We are going to keep going. Maybe just get some more trains going, some more transport going. Connect some more things up to reach that turnover target. Because I'm not quite sure we're at a point where we would actually currently reach it. So... Maybe, you know, we can just kind of speed things up ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and connect this thing up like that, I suppose. And we can actually connect that thing up like this too. So, you know, the trains can always, you know, um, 
avoid each other if necessary. We're gonna go and get another train depot out there. We're gonna go and get some more tracks out there and then we'll have another regional transport line. We'll just keep things going like that. And, uh, you know, slowly but surely establish more and more. Because I'm not quite sure. I mean, we're already at 11 million, so honestly, probably not doing all too bad. But while we're just waiting for things, I suppose we may as well just get more lines going. And that way, ensure even more that things are hopefully going to be going somewhat fine in terms of these goals. And I suppose that if we don't quite meet the goals, we don't have to wait an entire new year. But we're literally just going to kind of... I'll drop over to the next month, um, kind of turn over from the first month that was counted, it's just kind of dropping out, and then, you know, as we get there, it just kind of um, works like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go and build, buy another regional express, and we're going to go grieving in Ulm. There we go. That is another train line established for us. We already have even some public transport in Ulm, so it's quite surprising that we don't have a train line there, but I guess that was never in the mission targets, and we... Gonna go down here then and make another one. I think I'm gonna keep these things rather regional focused to be fair, because I think, quite honestly, that um, is gonna be a nice and easy way to increase our turnover target. While well, the long range high speed train lines are probably gonna be very prestigious and also gonna have a lot of passengers if we spam out a whole lot of small regional connections quickly. That should hopefully have a very decent effect as well. So we're gonna go make another line then. And that is going to be from Grilling to Ingolstadt. And we will go and buy another train for that line. You can see we're at 25 million. I'm quite sure we started in like March of 1990 or maybe even April when we got this goal. So, I mean, within four months, we're at 28 million, I would say. Given the amount of time we've got left, the, the stars are aligning quite nicely for us there. But we'll, we'll see about that one when we get there. I'm gonna go and get that train on that line and that one is going to start going too and hopefully we will get some more stuff and we are out of money. <laughs> apparently uh, we're not getting 100 mil uh, a year and um, also quite apparently I absolutely forgot about this part right here. So I suppose, <laughs> oh boy, how's that profitability even looking to be honest? <laughs> we got 100 mil right there uh, for the first three months of that and then okay, so it's every quarter that we usually got the money We're not getting it anymore. Uh, we're incurring huge losses uh, Which is beautiful, which is absolutely magnificent. We are uh, totally out of money and uh, <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have to become state rescued very soon not like that would be a new one for uh, the German uh, railway just saying but um Yeah Maybe we overdid things a bit. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'm also quite sure, though, that probably we don't even have enough passengers. Whoa! That is a lot of people waiting for that train line. Why is that not going? Where is that train at? Here. Waiting for free path. Oh, you're waiting for that train, are you? Is the path free for you now? No. Are you going this way? Um. What do you mean? Where are you going? Where are you headed exactly? Maybe that's like part of the reason why we are not making all the money we want. I'm not. I'm not sure which way this guy's headed right now. It feels like he's heading to Frankfurt. So I'm not quite sure what in the world would be blocking his path. Oh. No. What? Is there two trains standing here or one? There's two! Do we not get rid of the single trains? Or will it? Okay. Fixed. Very weird. Um, I'm not quite sure what that one was. But you know, we could probably uh, also recollect the economic feasibility of um, double trains. Because I don't think they're all too feasible. That said, we just sold uh, some IC, so I guess we've got another 50 million to work with for the time being. Let's see how long that stays the case, though. Um, I hope that we can, for the time being, get through this with the amount that we have in terms of money. That's quite a lot of people still waiting. Maybe the double trains do make sense. We'll see, I suppose, once we actually uh, get people there. Um, in terms of profitability, the total is looking a lot better now, which, of course, is kind of because we sold the vehicle, but... 
you know, maybe, maybe fixing that little economical bottleneck there is going to make us a bit more profitable or something. We'll see about that. One way or another, we're now at the turnover target of 50 million, so that's beautiful. Pays off. The latest quarterly figures are promising, but a new challenge is already waiting. <laughs> promising, my son. <laughs> of regional railroad routes while increasing the appeal in rural regions at the same time. It's only okay. recently that responsibility for local public transit now lies with the individual German states. They award contracts for providing transportation services in their domain. Well, good thing that we just the already did public transport in those regions. The contract. God. Handling the basic supply of local transit shouldn't be left to the competition. Secure the contract in the German federal state of your choice for your company. Okay. Um... Let's see where we already have the most, I suppose. BW, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four. I mean, honestly, we've already got that. I guess we're going with Baden Württemberg because we've already got that, like, pretty much totally covered. As expected, so. we got the invitation to tender and got the contract. Provide all the designated services during the term of contract in compliance with the corresponding okay. targeted specifications. Cool. So, um, uh, first things first, travel to no region train stations and buy in with a regional train. We're maybe going to have to um, pull this down, which is very weird. Um, regional trains are used at the same time people transport it with a regional train. Travel to all train stations and buy in Württemberg with a regional train. So, uh, yeah. You know, I'm... Um, this is covered, these two cities are covered, that city is covered, that one's covered, like, all the cities are covered. <laughs> okay, so that first thing is already originally um, kind of fulfilled. We'll have to pull down a few trains in, uh, well, this one here, I suppose. Let's quickly sell that one before it reaches the station. Boom. It's the only one in Bavaria, though, is it? I'm quite sure. Nothing out there, nothing out here. Yeah, it's the only regional train. I mean, we've got the high-speed trains, of course, but I guess they don't count. So, yeah, looking quite good then, I suppose. we got to transport 2,500 people with a regional train, though, so that's going to be quite a bit of a task. Maybe going to have to amp things up a bit more there. But other than that, I mean, that's literally all the things already uh, fulfilled in the requirements. So, I would say quite good news. We're going to head on with that in the next episode, then. For today, I'm going to end it off right here. I hope you all very much enjoyed the episode. And, of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That does always help out the channel a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also, please consider subscribing right down below. As well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. With all that out of the way though as usual everybody thank you so much for watching and i hope i will catch you in the next episode very very soon ciao